Hi my lovely viewer, thank you for coming back to my channel again, I'm so humbled, thank you for subscribing too, our family is increasing each day and that makes me so happy, if you are not on this channel, feel most welcome, this is the right place to be, meet the lucky mom here, Deborah Nanchuka is my name, I created this channel to give my viewers hope and encourage you to be optimistic, no situation is permanent. Once you choose to walk with God, everything is possible. Today, we are going to do a life fact video on Nazism. But before that, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the gift of life. I want you to do our sharing. Let's get to bless us. Help us so that we can have a great impact on our lives. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. Our sharing today is about how Nazists use humiliation and how you can respond yeah, I, I had already told you about uh, Nazi, Nazists. These are people with uh, narcissistic personality disorder. These people, they want more favors from others. They feel that they are, ab they, they are above everyone. They feel taking control every time and they lack empathy. So this is this is the type of people we are going to to share again i've already done more videos this is season two now of narcissism yeah how narcissists use humiliation and how you can respond a narcissist will always want to be over you a narcissist can be your mother can you be your father in a sister, can be your brother or sister, can be your friend, can be your fiance, can be your uh, partner, maybe if you're married, can be your husband, can, can be your wife. So, a narcissist, if a narcissist has decided to hurt you, they might make they might make you to lack the desire of living you might feel that if they decide to demean you you might feel like you don't have value maybe you, you better die instead of uh, living they will kill a desire for you to live and what i want you to keep in mind that anybody who uses humiliation as a weapon this is the most broken person on earth. If you see somebody is humiliating you so that they can take control over you, this is a broken person. Just to know like that. So when, when you humiliate somebody, it's like you are reducing them to that. You know humiliation is just related to that. that thing. So if somebody wants to humiliate you to, it's like, this person wants to injure your dignity. When you, you humiliate somebody, it means that you are injuring their dignity, maybe to zero. So, what you need to know is that you are meant to be loved and not to be humiliated. That is what we need to know first. If somebody is humiliating you, you need at the back of your mind, you need to understand that you were created to be loved and not to be humiliated. That's where you can start your approach of standing on your own feet. So how, how will this, you know, narcissists, would they humiliate you? If any at the back of their mind, they will know that they have hurt you, they will never apologize because they don't want to feel guilty so if they feel guilty they will they will see themselves as losers and they don't want to stand as losers so they will continue humiliating you until until even death they don't care so what how will uh, how do, do they humiliate you can do it in public they can humiliate you in public 
maybe they see you maybe this is a family member maybe you the way you have dressed is not the dress code maybe you are great and somebody an artist will tell you what type of dress are, are you wearing now you are just ashamed us this person has an intention of <coughs> humiliating you publicly and you know anybody who wants to humiliate you that wants to create trauma if somebody creates trauma in you you will not be able to share your problems maybe with friends or anybody next to you because when somebody creates trauma in you they will create fear and your self-esteem will be low now you will not be able to approach anybody for assistance because of because they have already taken control over you so anybody who humiliates you just know that this person wants to create trauma in you and you're not going to heal uh, quickly maybe or easily because this is something that it will make you to go for a process of healing so when somebody creates trauma in you this is an assist this is somebody who wants to take full control over you narcissists they turn uh, relationships into dominations they want to dominate because they just want to take control you can't you can't even uh, give your views your views are not wanted because this person is the final say they are the one make who make decisions you will have nothing to say apart from accepting what they have already decided. They can decide to ignore your needs. Maybe somebody knows you need some basic needs, maybe, but they will just ignore. If it's uh, maybe oil, maybe you want a beauty cream, they will just ignore your needs. This is a narcissist. That is one way of humiliating you because they want you to to look shaggy. They don't want you to gloom and look maybe beautiful. When they start ignoring your needs, know that this is one way. They want to humiliate you. Sometimes you can request for something and somebody will just snare at you and, and glare like... What, what what did you say or maybe they they don't talk they just look at you and a look alone will make you to turn back this is somebody who wants to humiliate you this is a narcissist uh, another way they can humiliate you is maybe they can show uh, favorism they can favor some people over you maybe if they were giving out the gifts maybe in public they can give everybody and skip you. And there's nothing you can do. That is humiliation. Or you can do something to perfection. You can do your work very nice. And they, and this narcissist will say, you know what? Jabra, you deserve a reward. I'm going to reward you. But at the end of the day, they will not reward you. They will just pack out. And there's nothing you can do. That is humiliation. So this, there are many ways the narcissist can humiliate you. But if you call on them, maybe somebody might call you a dog. Maybe as an abuse, you'll be like, if they call you, you are a dog. And you'll be like, why are you calling me a dog? This person, they will be like, this is just a joke. You are too insensitive. Just know this, is, this person wants to get a trauma on you. And he was serious. This is a narcissist. He meant what he said. Or she said. He, she told you you are a dog. Then it means you are a dog. According to them. And now if you have called on them. They will be like. Mm, you are too sensitive. That was just a joke. That was a light joke. What will make this. Uh, you know. As this. A narcissist have intention of creating trauma. What, what do they, where, which part do they insist that makes you to doubt yourself? 
they target your character so much so they will be like they want to humiliate you using your character and be like you 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 are rude you you are dirty you have a bad character your character is not good your character is demanding your character your character this is somebody who wants to harm you for real you yourself you know that my character is good i'm respectful i'm upright but somebody will be doubting you you are immoral you are not loyal you are immoral you are disrespectful you are rude these times this person is using on you so that they can harm you they can torture you they can create trauma in you so that you doubt even your own character since you know you are upright you know you are respective you need to keep that one as the truth in you i know that my character is going to take me to a new step for growth you don't this is how now what you will do this is how you will respond you might not tell them direct but you will know this person has been insisting that my character is bad my character is a p c d but this is not the person we can sit down and solve because this person has already taken control over me so what i can do <clears throat> I need people whom we can sit down and reason together. But this person is beyond me. They have no time for me because they have taken control over me because of this narcissistic uh, personality disorder. I am upright. My character is not rotten the way this person is saying. and my character will take me to the next step of growth that is how you will just keep quiet go away keep no contact with this person get your good life everybody deserves respect everybody deserves to be loved never allow anybody to make you feel that you don't want to live anymore you are very, a very important person you need to live you need to be loved you need to be respected never allow anybody to take control over you if somebody is trying to humiliate you by demeaning your character just walk away and know that your character will take you to the next step of growth So if you like this video thumbs up you can subscribe to this channel for more sharing may god bless you so much see you next time bye